Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you how I make my easy vegan French toast. So what you're going to need are very simple ingredients. You're going to need some vanilla extract, some ground cinnamon, some soy milk or almond milk, whichever you prefer. I usually use almond milk, but this soy milk right here has 8 grams of protein, which is really good. So if you want that, go get this kind. And then I'm using 3 slices of this Panera multigrain bread. It is honestly the best bread ever, so get your hands on it ASAP. And just one banana. So we're just going to take all of the ingredients, um, like the soy milk, and put it into the magic bullet. Um, I so, <laughs> like, I didn't know how much soy milk to use, so, you know, maybe about three-fourths of a cup, or, you know, just eye it out. Nobody's really watching, so just go for it. And then after that, you're going to add in your banana. Um, try to break it up so that it's easier to blend, and that'll make it for a much smoother consistency. And then I like a lot of cinnamon, so do however much you like, but I add some cinnamon into the mega bullet and then I also add some on top after the fish toast is done. So then you're going to add in about a cap full of vanilla extract. Um, if you like more, you can add more. It's really however much you like and of course I would spill some of it. That's just me. So you know, <laughs> just make sure you get all of it inside. And then you're just gonna put the top on and then just blend it up until it's done. Alright, so after it's all blended up, you're gonna take a container that will be able to hold your slices of bread and you're gonna pour the mixture into the container. And at this point, you also want to heat your griddle up if that's what you're using so then you get nice and hot while you're coating the bread so that it'll just be easier after you're done. Just put it on there. And then I'm going to use this Nature's Promise coconut oil spray to coat the griddle so that the French toast doesn't stick to it and mess up. I'm going to wait for it to heat up a little bit. So now we're going to place each slice of bread inside of the mixture and make sure that both sides are evenly coated. And there's a little piece of chunk of banana that I left in there. <laughs> and then you're just going to repeat this for each slice of bread that you have. And yeah, and then place it on the griddle so that it can get nice and good. So now it's time for the fun part where we get to flip it and see our masterpiece. Just look at it. It looks so good. And don't be mistaken by the black part. It is not burnt. It is just the mixture. Okay. So you, you can just peel it right off and it's still good. But yeah, you're probably going to be like, oh my gosh, Melanie, you cannot cook. But you know, that is how it's supposed to look. It's French toast. It looks good. So yeah, just flip it and voila. And now I'm going to cut up some strawberries and um, put some blackberries on top of it to make it extra sweet and yummy. And you can put whatever type of fruit you want on it, but since I already had banana in the mixture, I just decided to go with it.
so here you have it guys this is my vegan french toast and i'm just gonna end it by topping it off with some more cinnamon of course and then i'm also going to add some pure maple syrup to just add a little bit more sweetness to it but it's perfectly good just the way that it is it just depends on your preference so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thumbs up if you want to see more cooking videos and i'll see you guys later